it's a meeting between the two worst teams in the form table in the National League South as both seek to arrest their slides at the opposite end of the table. The Hawks have responded to such a slide by reshuffling their backroom staff with Jamie Collins taking the reins from Paul Dodwell following a dismal run of form that has seen him in danger of sliding away from the playoff places. Goals are hard to come by for both sides, having scored three and two respectively in their last five games. Hakan Hayretin will be hoping for a repeat of the feel-good factor of his first game in charge, with the Hamlet's midweek defeat seeing them sitting perilously close to the drop zone in 20th. And it's Phillips with his first touch, launched away to this near side and finds Andre Blackman. Blackman brings it down and clips an early ball down the line, looking for Porter. It's deflected away, and cleared away by Pasley, all the way through. Foul getting a, getting a run on it, but Charlie Granger steps out of his box and calmly launches that one away. For Wole, putting the pressure on immediately up against Pasley. Pulled down in the box. Nothing doing. It did look like that could well have been a penalty there. Swung towards the near post. Header one. Pitched off the post by Granger. Second challenge by Danny Mills, of all people. Gets that one launched away. And now Porter's on the chase up against Newton. Back to Pasley now. Swings across into the box. Over the top of many. Rooney with a strike. Great save by Charlie Granger. Cleared away by Felix. Still no danger. Still danger here. Cleared away by Raymond. Mills loses the flight of the ball and haven't come back attacking again. Down this right hand side, it's Pasley. Pasley swings across into the box. Headed away well by Ming. And now Felix has a chance to clear on the right hand side for the Hamlet. Chance to come away with it and a chance to breathe for Dulwich Hamlet, who've been under absolute siege so far. It's nodded on by Mills. Looking for Fawole. Fawole now on the right-hand side of the box. Left-footed strike, just wide of that far post. The right centre-back, Magri now again. Out to Newton on the left-hand side, who's robbed of the ball by Ming and then fouls Ming as he's coming away. And that's going to be the first yellow of the game. It was a silly challenge from Newton. Oh, Fowler is with it now. Pasley goes on the outside. Instead, Fowler cuts inside on his left and swings towards the far post. Granger comes and punches well. And it breaks to Felix, a chance to counter now for the Hamlet. He's got Ming on the outside of him if he needs him on that right-hand side. Ming clips it forward and he's absolutely taken out there by Newton. He's already been booked. It's got to be a second yellow. And it is. And having to watch Lee Villa down to ten men here. And he's swung into the box by Raymond now. The height of Cheadle and Mills and Holland and Fawoli are going to be looked for. Swung towards the far post. Headed away well by Hamilton to Waterlooville at the first time of asking. Drops to Cheadle. Back towards Felix. Felix with a strike from range. Just fizzes wide of the far post. Launch long down the left-hand side. Looking for the run of foul early. Headed away well by Holland. And then Phillips finds Ming. Ming smashes that one long early. First time. Porter trying to win that ball does so it's Porter and Mills Porter cuts in on his right foot and strikes from range it's dipping it bounces off Sharman Low. collects well at that second time of asking but uh, looks shaky to Sharman Low there Pasley charging down the right hand side gets the cross in early but it's off the backside of Andre Blackman and now back to him Blackman inside for Phillips who gets his way out of a tight situation and finds Jack Holland Holland now out towards Ming down that right hand side it's Sanchez Ming plays it inside for Felix Felix back to Felix who gets to Mills Mills in space here Mills all the time in the world great sliding challenge on Danny Mills Mohammed still have the ball here though and it's Porter left footed just wide Mills took far too much time on that ball there thrown into the box Phillips putting the challenge on Rooney. Rooney squeezes the cross into the box, headed away well by Jack Holland. Drops to McCarthy with a strike, deflected. What a save from Charlie Granger. Had to adjust in midair and claw that one away. Looked like a certain goal. And launch clear by Cheadle down this left hand side. Challenging Rooney. Second challenge won by Raymond. And now Felix does come away with it. Felix now has got Fawole with him on the right hand side and gives it to him. Fawole smartly back to Ming. Ming now, calmly, all the way back to Charlie Granger. Granger with it, right-footed. 48 minutes gone here. Over the top, looking for the runner, Danny Mills. Mills is in here. Just got to take a second to have the shot over the keeper. Cleared well by Pasley again. Still not quite gone. Saved well by Sharman Lowe. Takes it, right, left-footed, out towards that far side. Cleared away. Now it's 
Mohamed Ufal tries to keep a hold of that one. Sliding challenge from Holland. And now Felix finds Kowale. Kowale now charging to the right-hand side of the box. Strikes right footage. Saved well. And put behind by, uh, by the having to water level goalkeeper. Taken quickly by Porter for Felix. Felix back to Porter. Porter finds Felix again. Half a yard for the cross. Finds it. Mills waking out far post. Nods it towards the centre of that box that claimed well by Sharman Lowe as Josh Ferroile was lurking for the tap-in. Raymond short to Sanchez Ming. Back to Raymond. Raymond now to the top of the box looking for Andre Blackman. Blackman it is with, it, with a strike from range. It's weak and low. And it's a chance here for Burnett on the break. It's just him up against Charlie Granger. He's got foul with him. Foul for an open goal. And it's in. That's disastrous from Dulwich Hamlet. The 10 men of Hound to Waterlooville take the lead. The ball was cleared really well on the counter by Hound to Waterlooville. It was knocked through to uh, the substitute, Ethan Burnett, who couldn't be offside as he was in his own half. He charged through unopposed up against Charlie Granger. Granger couldn't charge out to him. Mohamed Ufal caught up with his with his teammate. The ball was played across, slipped into him. The man on loan from Dorking looks like he's lining this one up. 20 yards out, strikes low towards the far post. Bounced just wide at the base of that far post. Holland now. Plays it into the feet of Gavin. Gavin's first time pass finds Felix. And now to Phillips. Phillips for Porter. Back to Phillips. Chips it out to Ming on this right-hand side. Ming now. Plays it square for Jordan Cheadle. Cheadle's got a bit of space here. Chips the ball towards the far side. Looking for Phillips. Nods it down for Felix. Just into the side netting. So unlucky for Dalek Hamlet here. Trying to get that equaliser. Goal kick to be taken by Teddy Sharman low. Right-footed. Christine Campbell up against Roberts. Campbell does very well to claim that one back. Does so and breaks away. Plays the ball down the left, looking for Mills to turn, which he does. Great turn from Mills. He doesn't have the pace, though, to uh, get on the end of it from Charlie Lowe. He's out of his goal, though, and it's a shot from Powell from range. And it's in! Joel Powell from range! Teddy Sharman Lowe came out to clear his lines. Left an open goal. And Joel Powell kept his cool from just inside. The hand to Waterlooville half, launched it right-footed into the empty net. That is Dulwich Hamlet 1, Hamlet to Waterlooville 1. Four minutes plus stoppages remaining here at Champion Hill. It's Cheadle. Cheadle now. Left-footed ball, looking for the switch for Sanchez Ming. The switch is on and it finds him. Great work, Ming, for Felix in the centre-right channel. Felix turns away from Ethan Burnett, swings the left foot across to the far post, looking for Danny Mills. Mills nods it down and it's Porter. It's a great save from... Short and punched off the post, goes behind. Breaks now into the centre circle for Gavin. Ball breaks away and then Ming hooks it forward from range. Mills nods the ball down. It's Felix charging on this right hand side. Felix's attempted cross comes short over the key. What a save by Teddy Sharman Low. That was nestling in the top corner. Out of time, not been seen, but it's Cheadle looking for Porter. Porter now plays it for Felix. Felix has it on this right hand side now cutting back in on himself giving it to Jack Holland in the uh, right back in the cent right centre back position now Dylan Gavin gives it to Sanchez Ming Ming cutting inside on his left foot plays it square to the top of the box of Powell Powell trying to find space for the strike instead plays it back to Cheadle Cheadle with a left footed cross looking for Dylan Gavin at the far post and a strike and it's in the Hamlet snatched it here and it's George Porter making himself equal joint top scorer fantastic from the Chislehurst Slatan the ball broke having a water leaving players are all over the floor the strike initially from Gavin deflected back to George Porter who slotted it past Teddy Sharman low the Hamlet has snatched it in stoppage time here it looks as six minutes is added with just a minute gone so far in that six minutes of added time the Hamlet take the 2-1 lead <laughs> Ming enjoying himself here thrown in towards Danny Mills and then Gavin flicks it over the top cleared away by having some water Louisville Holland with the header and then Ming with the attempted clearance has stolen off him though by Danny Wright it's in the box and cleared away by Cheadle only as far as Ethan Burnett Ethan Burnett plays it square for 
Pasley. One more chance surely for having towards Louisville here. Headed away well by Jack Holland. And it's Mills trying to clear it away. And that's the end of this one. That's the end of this. What a fantastic result for Dulwich Hamlet. It's Dulwich Hamlet 2, Hamlet to Waterlooville 1. They've won here against the 10 men of Hamlet to Waterlooville.